Hi everyone and welcome to this short video. If you're here, it's most likely because you're encountering the following issue in your 2D Unity game. When your character is at the bottom of an overseen element, he appears in front of it, but when your character is supposed to appear behind a scene element, he still appears on top of it. So how can we manage both cases? making sure the character appears in front of the tree when he is at the bottom and behind it when he is supposed to. Well, you'll see that the solution is quite simple to implement. The first thing to do is to set up the same order in layer for both of your objects. As you can see, for both my tree and my player, they are both using the order in layer 0. Next, we need to go to the project settings, you can navigate to the graphics menu and the settings we're interested in is this one, transparent sort mode and the sort axis. In case you're using a specific render pipeline, especially the URP, you'll find these settings not in this window but directly in your render pipeline file. I'll display an example on the screen. Once you've found the location of this configuration, we can make the necessary changes. By default, in a Unity project, sorting is done on the Z axis. This is because in a 3D space, the Z axis represents the depth. So having this default configuration is quite normal. However, in our project like this one, we have a top-down camera, meaning we can see the scene from above, from the sky. So the sorting should be done along the y-axis, which is the vertical axis in a 3D space. We'll change the mode here to custom axis and we'll customize the axis by setting y to 1 and z to 0. Then you can close this window and immediately you'll see that the system is now working correctly. When my character moves to the bottom of the tree, it appears on front, and when it moves behind the tree, he appears behind. The transparent sort axis setting defines that the object with the lowest y value, so the one at the bottom, will always appear in front of the others. If I start moving my character upwards, given that my tree has no colliders, I can pass just through it. You'll notice that once the player moves above the tree's center, it will appear behind it. This is how the custom axis we've set up is working. So all that is left to do is to add a collider to your tree so the player can't pass through it, and the result will be perfect. Your character will always appear in front or behind as he is supposed to do. And that's it for this short video. I hope you found it useful. I'm working on a 2D game myself, so believe me, I face many configuration related challenges on Unity and I plan to create more videos like this one to help you create your own. See you soon for more videos on Unity, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, you'll learn a lot on this channel to create your own games. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Godfriend out.